In the late 1960s, a special TV show called Mod Squad became popular. It was different because it showed with three young and cool undercover police officers who fought crime in a new way. The actors in it were a mix of different and interesting people, and they really changed how TV shows were made. Think about which actor in the show you liked the most. This show wasn't just fun to watch, it also made people think differently. Maybe it changed how you see working together, fairness, or important social topics. Talking about Mod Squad, get ready for a bunch of surprising and emotional facts. Each episode and character added something special, leaving a strong memory for those who watched it. Now, let's talk about your own experiences with the show. What memory or moment from it do you hold dear? Share your stories and memories in the comments. It could be a scene you can't forget or how the show affected you. Every story adds to the show's rich history. Mod, but a little odd, is a television series that garnered significant attention during its run. The casting was notably well executed, with each actor fitting their role seamlessly. Peggy Lipton, portraying Julie, stood out with her distinct persona that was reflective of the era, despite sometimes appearing disengaged, which added a unique layer to her character. Pete, another central character, was admired for his cool demeanor and unique speaking style, although his physicality sometimes contrasted with his otherwise suave character. Link, portrayed as a tough and capable character, was particularly memorable for doing most of his own stunts. His method of apprehending criminals, reminiscent of a football player's tactics, along with his signature blank stare and sunglasses, made him a standout figure on the show. Adam Greer, the experienced cop in the group, was crucial in keeping the team grounded and focused. His strong acting skills contributed significantly to the dynamic of the show. Overall, the series holds a special place in television history, capturing the essence of its time. It's a recommended watch for those interested in television shows from that era, and the complete series on DVD is a worthy addition for enthusiasts of classic television series. Peggy Lipton's career continued to flourish after her role in the series. She later joined the cast of Twin Peaks, another show known for its group of youthful detectives. Interestingly, her co-star from the series, Clarence Williams Roman III, also appeared in Twin Peaks, creating a subtle but notable link between the two shows. The vehicles used in the series were provided by the Chrysler Corporation. This partnership added a layer of authenticity and style to the show, as the cars used were reflective of the era's aesthetic. Clarence Williams Roman III, in a 1995 interview with Terry Gross on Fresh Air, humorously commented on the show's sometimes predictable plot lines. He observed that when writers struggled for fresh ideas, they would revert to familiar scenarios. Typically, these involved either complaints from the police commissioner about the young officers or murder cases at a theatrical studio, which allow would shooting on a budget without leaving the studio lot. This behind-the-scenes insight offers a glimpse into the practical challenges of television production and how they influenced storytelling. The series remains a memorable part of television history, not only for its unique characters and style, but also for these lesser-known aspects that contributed to its making and legacy. The show really stood out in popular culture, so much so that Mad Magazine made a fun version of it called Odd Squad. This shows how much it connected with people of all ages. The actors were just the right age when the show started. Williams was 29, adding a lively and mature touch to his character. Cole, at 23, and Lipton, at 22, were young enough to relate to the younger viewers, making the show feel real and appealing. Sadly, Clarence Williams III passed away in 2021, leaving Michael Cole as the only original cast member still alive. This reminds us of how time has passed and how important each actor was to the show. Their acting and the way they worked together on screen really show their talent and how the show captured the spirit of that time. The series, with its special mix of characters and stories, remains an important example of TV from that era. It did more than just entertain, it reflected the social changes and challenges of the times. It was more than an ordinary TV show, it was a cultural sensation that made a lasting mark on its viewers and sparked conversations about various social issues. The show ended each episode with a unique cinematic technique. The camera would gradually pull back, showcasing the team walking away together. This consistent ending became a recognizable signature of the series, symbolizing the unity and ongoing journey of the main characters. 
A memorable moment in the series involved the destruction of a key vehicle, a 1950 Mercury wood paneled station wagon known as Woody. This event occurred in the episode titled The Death of Wild Bill Hanischek, where the team's car is destroyed, leading to a poignant scene where they watch their old buddy burn. Link's line, goodbye old paint, during this scene is especially notable for its emotional impact. In a later reunion movie, The Return of Mod Squad, the character Pete, now wealthy, purchases a similar Woody rekindling nostalgia and symbolizing a return to their roots when the trio reunites for a new mission. The series creation was inspired by real-life experiences. Buddy Ruskin, a former Los Angeles police officer, drew from his time working with a special youth squad in the LAPD. This authentic background contributed significantly to the show's credibility and depth as it was grounded in real police work and contemporary social issues. This series stands out for its unique blend of action, character development, and cultural relevance, making it more than just a television show, but a reflection of its times. Clarence Williams, Roman III, Michael Cole, and Tig Andrews were in every one of the 123 episodes of the series, making a big impact on its success and consistency. Peggy Lipton, another important cast member, was in almost every episode too, missing only two. This dedication from the main actors is important because it helped keep the show stable and familiar. The long run of the series and the commitment of the actors to their roles really helped viewers feel connected to the show. The characters became well-known, and seeing them regularly made them feel like part of the audience's everyday life. This steady casting allowed Wood for the characters to grow and change, which was interesting for the audience to see. Also, the fact that the main actors stayed the same for the whole series shows how well they worked together, and how much the producers trusted them to keep the show interesting. It's not common for a TV show to have the same actors for many seasons. This stability was probably a big reason why people liked the show and kept watching it. To sum it up, the constant presence of Clarence Williams' Roman III, Michael Cole, and Tyg Andrews, along with Peggy Lipton's nearly always being there, was really important for the series. Their work, both alone and together, was a big part of why the show lasted a long time and is remembered in TV history. Their commitment and the stable cast were key to making the show what it was and helping it succeed over many seasons. During its popular run, the TV show went through a tough time that really hit both the actors and the fans hard. Michael Cole, who played Pete Cochran, had a serious drug overdose. This happened when the show was really famous, and it was a big shock because on the show, Cole's character was always cool and in control. His real-life struggle with addiction show would a darker side of the culture at the time, something the show sometimes talked about in its stories. This situation didn't just affect Cole personally, but it also changed how the show was made and how everyone on it worked together. The show often dealt with social issues of the time, and now it was dealing with a real problem that was like what they show would on TV. This made the show feel more real, even though it was tough for the people making it. When Cole got better and came back to the show, everyone, including the fans, was very supportive. His tough experience added a new layer to his character's story on the show, the series always had themes about making mistakes and then growing from them, and Cole's own journey matched these ideas. This made his character's struggles and successes on the show feel more real and meaningful to the audience. What happened with Cole reminds us that actors often have hard times that we don't see, even though they look glamorous on TV. It also shows the bigger problems of the time, like drug abuse and the pressure of being famous, which the show sometimes talked about. The difference between Cole's character on the show and his real-life problems shows the simple yet deep nature of the time the show was about. In the end, the series was not just entertaining and about social issues, but it also reflected the real challenges faced by the people making it. This mix of storytelling on the show and what was happening in real life made the show more meaningful and helped it stay popular.